In Uttar Pradesh, the BJP today launched its election campaign, a 24-page document which promised everything from laptops with free data to a loan waiver for farmers. Significantly, party president Amit Shah said that the BJP remained committed to the construction of a Ram temple and would get involved in the legal battle against triple talaq or divorce if they had the support of Muslim women in the state. Power parivartan through an election in Uttar Pradesh is making the BJP leadership sweat. To counter Akhlesh Yadav's manifesto loaded with tangible cookers and pure ghee for all, the BJP launched its 24-page pledge. Loan waiver for small and marginal farmers, task force against corruption and land grabbing, unprecedented infrastructure growth, tough law and order. With this 24-page manifesto for Uttar Pradesh elections, the BJP is trying to say that it is changing. Instead of a list of promises to the voters, it has a list of pledges. But then in politics, more things change, more they remain the same. And that is why the BJP's promise of Parivartan for Uttar Pradesh comes with a heavy dose of polarizing planks. If voted to power, the BJP promises to amend and continue schemes of Akhlesh Yadav. To dislodge him via polarization, BJP says it will work on pet Hindutva issues. Shut illegal and mechanized slaughterhouses, become a party to triple talaq case in courts and form a task force against migration of majority members from some areas. A few kilometers away from the manifesto release venue, BJP workers, unhappy with ticket distribution, protested. At the manifesto release, the BJP tried to placate Gorakhpur MP Yogi Adityanath, whose Hindutva outfit has fielded candidates against BJP. The manifesto came one day before the big event, a roadshow by Akhlesh Yadav and Rahul Gandhi. If the BJP battles charges of promoting family politics and turn courts, the party president fired a counter. Rahul Ji, if you have a good day at home, then the Congress has been able to do it. The BJP has worked hard to create its manifesto. Based on the Prime Minister's man ki baat, it contacted crores to find what people want. But now the party prepares for the big battle to find what voters want. In Lucknow, with Rajesh Gupta and Ramesh Verma, Rahul Shivastav for NDTV.